Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and this is the 18th episode in my bookish favourites advent calendar. Feel free to check out the rest of the playlist in the description box. Today I want to talk about The Giver by Lois Lowry and this is uh, the middle grade slash young adult dystopian fiction that I and everyone else read at school. Um, I think this might even be the same copy that I used in school. It certainly has got some translations at the bottom for, you know, some of the more difficult words. But this was one of the few books that I read in school that I really truly loved when I was reading it. It was published in 1993 and it is a dystopian novel that kind of predates the big wave of young adult dystopian fiction of the early 2000s and in a lot of ways it has a very similar structure. We follow a young main character, a boy named Jonas, whose uh, story begins on his 12th birthday when he is chosen to enter a profession named the Receiver of memory and this is a very important profession in his community and he then goes on a journey of exploration in which he finds out that his society which he always assumed was very peaceful and utopian is actually much darker and he has to make a very difficult choice for himself and for the rest of his community. Now, this is a very short novel but within that we explore a lot of common tropes of dystopian fiction, tropes that we find in you know dystopian novels going back to the early 20th century including the society that at first glance looks very peaceful, very wholesome and um, very good for people where people can be happy where people can be themselves but actually as you explore it a bit more we find out that all of that is covering up some deep darkness within a society. The other trope is that of the main character who discovers these things and then has to make some really hard decisions about whether to break out of the system, whether to try and disrupt or even destroy the system, or whether to continue within this society. Now, dystopian fiction, in my opinion, is uniquely suited to young main characters and that is both in middle grade, young adult, adult fiction, whatever. I think that characters who are at an age where they have to start making decisions for themselves fit beautifully in a world that is so entrenched in secrecy and cover-up and um, I think that's what works so well for me when reading The Giver, even as an adult, is that Jonas as a 12 year old is starting to outgrow his childhood at the same time as he's starting to outgrow his society and that's something that a lot of us can identify with. I think this is a true classic of the genre of dystopian fiction. It's one of my favorite 20th century dystopias and if you for some reason manage to get around this in school then catch up, get it. This is a one sitting read or a two sitting read. It is really quite a short book but it's certainly packs a punch. Now I would like to know from you if you read this uh, as a child or as an adult and what you made of it because I guess maybe for someone reading it for the first time in 2019 the book doesn't seem as original and as groundbreaking as it did to me when I read it as a teenager before a lot of the more recent uh, young adult dystopian novels were published. But what you need to remember is that all of your favorite contemporary young adult dystopian novels probably take at least some inspiration from this old book. See you tomorrow and thank you for watching. Bye!